Alrighty y'all, today I'm going to be telling you our plan and how we're turning these rabbits into cash to be able to pay for their feed so that we can have some free rabbit meat but also a ton, ton, ton of rabbit manure for our garden plans. And this is how we plan on making a profit and turning rabbits into money. Okay, before we start, fair warning. There is a whole lot of Finley in this video. It is cute. It is humorous. I'm gonna put a meter down here below and you can just skip forward if you just only wanna talk about money, but this is our life. In order for me to get videos out, Finn just gotta hang out with us for a while, y'all. Finley, what are we gonna go do? Do the bunnies. Did you just fall? Yeah. Come on, Finny. Are you coming? Yeah. First, we gotta go get some greens for Blue so she doesn't bite us because she's a protective mama. So here is what Kelly did with planting all this awesome stuff on this mountain. I mean, this is, this mountain is all of our topsoil right here whenever they did it with the bulldozer. Here, Finley, you carry this. You, you carry these two. Blue will love it. And then we'll get some of this grass. Oh yeah, she's gonna be so happy. What kind of root is this? Oh, look at that big old turnip. Look at that turnip. That's so awesome. All right, we're gonna have some turnip greens. Shit like that. Okay, come on, Finn. No, 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 no. That's for, it's for the rabbits, not the chickens. What? It's red. It's for the bond. I'll get it. It's going to be and glass is for the These are not good farm shoes. Farm shoes. These are not good farm shoes. These are bad, bad shoes. There's an elder shoe, elder shoes. And there's a butterfly shoe. These are butterfly shoes? Yeah, and this is elder shoe. A butterfly shoe and an Elsa shoe farm? Yeah. All right then. What? They're adorable. They're adorable? Oh, yeah. Check okay. them. Check them, Dad. There they are. This is the fun time with bunnies. We can show them. What do you want to show them? To my friends. Okay. You want me to put them in where? And do that box. So that why? Because we want you. So that they can be, what did you say? Cozy and comfy. Cozy and comfy. And also fluffy, right? Yeah. Put, the, put that in and put mine in. That's all of the bunnies. Now get them. No, get them in there. Get uh, them in where? In in flight. Are you gonna carry them? No, it's too heavy for me. Why can't you carry them? Cause you can them. You can them. You're not strong enough. Yeah. Okay. You can them. Do you want to carry the camera? Yeah. No. Adorable. He, he's adorable. He's adorable. Oh. I, 
I think it's a boy. Yeah. I think, I think this one it's is adorable. a girl. This is the cutest and then the one is a boy. So like, I don't know. And this one like one bear paws. My like baby bop. bear paws. This is like my bop. This is like my bop. Oh, okay. Gentle, gentle. Look how adorable he is. Yes. We can never let Finley hold that one. No. His no. booty. He has to be very gentle. There you go. Can you hold him? Can you hold him? Well, Ollie's able to do that. Evan, help a bunny. Evan. Don't hold it at the neck. Help a bunny. Okay, well, Ella's happy played this song today. Uh-huh. <laughs> Dad. Dad. Okay. Dad. And then we're going to say happy birthday to Kenzie because she had her birthday. Oh, my goodness. And <laughs> Eva. All right, so before we meet these little baby bunnies, here's kind of a history of our little rabbit tree that we have had. We were given a couple of bunnies just like this, uh, maybe like five weeks old. These are only two weeks old right now. And then we were giving a buck. So we had three does and one buck. The only bad thing was is, is he is the sweetest Buck, Rex, you've seen him on our channel for several years now. He's so sweet, so awesome, but he just doesn't put out like the color that we like. We're going to keep him forever until he dies of just natural, you know, old age or something. But we just don't ever really get exactly what we want out of color from him. So that was whenever we finally got some different color, our rabbit breeder. You can see all of her stuff at uh, Cottontail Rabbitry on Facebook. Whenever we moved back, she gave us blue, which was bred. I don't know what buck she bred her with. And she ended up having two, really, I think like three boys. I'm shooting a video. So then what we were able to do is she had a boy that we were able to breed back to her and his name is Twitch, he's the black one. And it just gave us this cool color that we, we absolutely love. Um, and now the, the greatest thing is it lets us know that we're definitely going to be able to breed them again and hopefully get sim similar results. But we were able to get what we've been wanting is just a solid, bluish or gray color rabbits. This guy, I don't know if it's a boy or girl yet, but we think that it might be a boy. Uh, Ollie is calling him Sage, and he is just so stinking cool. Or she, it doesn't matter. If, she's a, if it's a she, that's even better. But just so, so cool looking. We love this coloring. You're my um, Okay, I'll show yours too. So, so awesome. Really cool. Then, what they were able to do is put out basically identical little clones really close to Blue herself. So this is all very similar to Blue. And she has one, another one that is very similar to this one. It's basically the closest two rabbits we've ever had. Is like this okay then we have three black ones which they of course they're super cute they're very very cool um, honestly like I would rather have one of these than any of Rex's unfortunately he's just kind of boring and you just get a whole lot of brown and but these black guys these are cool too so how is this video about making money with rabbits well I don't know if you would even be able to make money selling rabbits for meat. Because if you're selling a meat rabbit, it's you just nobody's gonna pay for that. And we're in America and a lot of people don't eat meat rabbits and you just the market isn't there. But there is definitely a really good market. Especially if you know how to, you know, uh, do videos and pictures and stuff like that, that you can sell breeding stock people that want to raise rabbits for themselves you can easily get anywhere between you know sometimes 15 20 we average 25 per rabbit and that was ones that we weren't so proud about that came from 
our buck Rex. And now Rex. I think we're going to be able to get these guys easily for 35 probably some for $50 per rabbit, especially if we can get them proven. Like that's, that's the key. That's the big one is if we can get this system set up to where we can duplicate something like this and then we could give them a bread pair that someone would buy a buck and a doe that the doe has been bred and proven. I think, I know that you could get $100 for those two rabbits because they're proven and so they, you already know what you're going to get out of them. So having the proof for that, so having the history for that with pictures, it would be really, really simple to be able to do that. You just want to go. So in that case, making a hundred bucks, man, guys, that would pay for four months of our feed of rabbits. And the fact that rabbits duplicate like rabbits, it is something that you could make some money doing this. And that's just with being able to get it going enough that you sell breeding stock. Then if you just sell the bunnies themselves, it's possible that if you get your system set up, you could easily be making anywhere from, you know, two to maybe $500 a month. That's not a lot of money for a lot of people, but also if you're trying to function stack this, that is just one layer of productivity that you have. In addition to that, what you have is you have all of that rabbit poop. All of the rabbit poop that you could ever want for your garden, that is garden gold. It is what you need to be able to grow vegetables. It is the best fertilizer that you can buy. You cannot buy rabbit poop at the garden store. You just can't do it. And then you can function stack that even more like in my video that I'll put up right here for the six reasons why rabbits should be your first livestock animal. You could do like what I what I do is start a YouTube channel and you know if you get to be able to be monetized for that, you make a little bit because rabbits are cute and everybody loves rabbits. As you can see with Finn, uh, it is just a awesome homeschool project to be able to teach your kids animal husbandry. And then if you wanna go super heavy on it, uh, if you have the space, of course you would have high quality meat for your family for the rabbits that don't get sold. And I'm not gonna lie, Rabbit pot pie tastes good. And I know it's weird because you're looking at all these cute bunnies that we're just loving, but it is just a matter of life. But in our opinion, it's all about getting the genetics, the look that you want out of bunnies. So what we're probably gonna try to do is we wanna be able to get something more like the sage look to where we get less of the black. I would, especially with this litter, I would like to try to get it to where we can get maybe one or two black ones and more white and more sage ones. More of those, that blue color is not really sage, but more of that blue color rabbit that we would have. All right, so that is how we plan on making money with rabbits is through breeding stock that has a cool look in the fur. I, whether you're gonna do anything with the fur or not, it's just something that in our opinion, we feel like selling pretty pets that have like the good white and different colors that that has a better return in terms of selling the baby bunnies and then also being able to have for breeding stock that you can sell to people buying breeding stock that hey if you have these pretty rabbits that it's easier to sell the bunnies as well. Now of course what a lot of people do in terms of trying to make money with rabbits is just straight breeding for meat and having big fat bunnies like New Zealand whites and, uh, and Californians, uh, silver fox, all, all these, which is totally fine. It's just, in my opinion, that's kind of going more of like a one route type of animal breed because you're just going straight for meat production and not really able, like those, the, the New Zealands with the white ones with the red eyes, you're not selling those bunnies. I'm sorry, you're just not, nobody's gonna wanna buy 
a pet bunny with big red eyes. Not to say anything against the breed, you're just, it's gonna be harder for you to sell a creepy red eye ra rabbit to a kid. That's what we're planning on doing. And we're really excited that we have these bunnies because they are gorgeous and I cannot wait to breed blue again. We're probably going to do it after these bunnies are weaned. So hopefully we'll get at least six good breedings a year from her. Uh, you could push that to get more production. What are you wearing? Um, that. You're just going to interrupt my video all day today, huh? I don't even know what that word is. I can't even put it up on the screen because I don't know what you're saying. Shooping. You're shooping. Yeah. That's not a word.